Learn from James Allen, brought to you by smallapartmentinvestors.com. That's me right there, Cordell Davenport. My goal is to help small apartment investors make wise decisions. And I do that by talking about mindset things, self-improvement things. In regards to mindset, there's a formula. And that formula is mindset plus skill set plus performance equals results. So in addition to the self-improvement aspect on my website, I have a lot of information about small apartments. And my niche is to help people that own or want to own units that are 5 to 50 units. It's a variety of information that I have on my website. Check it out when you can. And on this video, I'm going to talk to you about James Allen. Now, in his book right here, he brings out some things that are good mindset material. And some stuff, well, I try to accomplish and some stuff I'm aiming to do. So as I read this information out and I explain it to you all, I'm not saying that I have done this and I put a check mark next to it like I'm saying next. What's next? But this is, uh, these videos are not just for you, but it, they also help me out too. So let's get into it. So James Allen, he's actually from England. and He lived over 100 years ago. He also wrote a book called As a Man Think, but with this one, The Path of Prosperity. He talks about a variety of things. And he says that um, in the path of prosperity is always personal, resting squarely on the degree to which you have refined and bettered yourself. Though it is possible for anyone to get wealthy, to be happily prosperous suggests that you have peace of mind in addition to monetary riches. In his book, he describes evil not as some cosmic force outside you, but simply as ignorance of the true nature and relation of things. When you have a dark night of sorrow, pain, misfortune, you must realize that it's temporary. That's it. It's just temporary. Your dark emotions have no fundamental reality, and the light of truth is waiting to burst into your life if you allow it. Whatever your difficulties and pains are, they have to come fully as a result of your previous thoughts and actions. Look at as problems as a gift. When you accept that you have attracted them and then choose to endure them, you have learned the basic law of life and become free to be careful, molder of your own circumstances. You mold them together. You have learned how setbacks happen. Such knowledge is worth more than any few fortune, he says. And yet it is also essential to the creation of real prosperity. Control your thoughts, your emotions, and then become a master of your destiny. If you are happy, it is because you are thinking happy thoughts. If you are miserable, guess what kind of thoughts you are thinking? Exactly. Miserable. To progress, fill your current position. He talks about how there's two men, when young, lost their hard-won savings. The first fell into despondency and regret, while the other told himself that Worry won't bring it back, but hard work will. Throwing himself into this work with great vigor, he was quickly able to succeed. The other person continued to mourn their loss and their bad luck. And the other thought this was actually a blessing. Stop complaining because the more you complain, the tighter the chains that bind you become. The route to a better life is not through complaining, but through finding ways to deliver service and provide love. If you are not totally pleased with your current circumstance, the secret to release is to make the best of what you have now. Focus on what you do have, not what you don't have. Focus on what you do want, not what you don't want. You can't move on to something better without having fulfilled what is expected of you. 
in your current position. Master the self and gain everything. If you are living in poor accommodations, keep your space clean and make it as charming as possible. Only such an effort will attract the house you deserve. If you are suffering under a terrible boss, absorb the negative comments and see the situation as an opportunity to practice patience and self-control. In time, it is you who will become strong mentally. Shake off the delusion that you are being injured or oppressed by another. You are really injured by what is in within you. There's no practice more degrading than self-pity. Every dollar bill is a money seed. Just as a tiny acorn contains the power to grow into a mighty oak tree, each dollar bill has the power to grow into a mighty money tree. Pros prosperous people have always known if one stream of income dries up, they have many more to tap into for support. So-called ordinary people are much more vulnerable. If they lose one of their streams, it wipes them out. In the future, you will need a portfolio of income streams, not one or two, but many streams from completely different and diversified sources, so that if one dries up, you barely will notice it. You will be stable. You will have time to adjust. You will be safe. The concept of multiple streams of income to work for you has to happen. You must stop the leak. And one of the leaks is taxes. Wealthy people are not afraid to spend money on getting the best tax advice. The other is spending. Prosperous people do things differently when they spend. Take a look at these four points right here. You can hit pause and think about it. And here, you can hit pause as well and reflect on this diagram. Now, the main difference between the rich and the poor is people, poor people see money simply as cash in their hands to be used as soon as they get it. Rich people, in contrast, understand money primarily as seeds to be planted that will grow into money trees. How many times do you get paid for every hour you work? Most people get paid only once for every hour they put in. This is what earning a salary all is about. And it applies even if you are in a highly paid position like a doctor. You are paid to be in a certain place at a certain time doing certain things. So however much you are earning, it relates to the time you put in. Working for someone else unless you own a piece of the profits, it's not security. The secret of the wealthy lies not so much in the amount of money they earn, but in the fact that they earn it in a different way. With residual income, you work hard once, and that effort generates a flow of income for years afterwards. Poverty is when large efforts produce small results. Wealth is the opposite, when small efforts produce large results. We have software designers, artists, inventors, actors, all earn royalties for things they did or produce once. Investors can have streams of income without in through of uh, you have like dividends, appreciation. As a result of making one wise investment, real estate owners get a continued flow of cash paid out Thanks to streams of residual or passive income that come in while a person can sleep. Such people's time is freed up to design, create multiple streams of income. Now that was it for this series right here with James Allen. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is something that we all, including myself, could strive to do. There's some things in it that you may say, yeah, I get it, or no, I don't believe that. But regardless, if you just get one good point out of this video, 
it has done its purpose. This one point that you can implement. So that's what I want to continue to do as I introduce different videos. Find one nugget and then apply it. Later, y'all.